Hey, Justin. Hey, Joel. Hey, I bet you five dollars. I'm gonna hit you square in the balls. You're on. <laughs> oh. oh, you win. <sighs> All right, now I bet you five bucks. I'm gonna kick you square in the nuts. You're on. Justin. Yeah, he's usually in the back room drinking alone by now. Hey, guys. <sighs> Justin, you sound almost happy. Oh, that couldn't possibly be it. Usually by this time, you'd be sobbing. Not anymore. But you always cry when you get to the studio. First thing, even before you take off your jacket. It's like a daily event. Well, you know, everyone is comforted by the fact that they're not you. Well, things have changed. What? You're not you anymore? Not the same old me, Jordan, old chap. Well, stop leaving us in suspense. What happened? Something no one ever thought I'd do. Bathe? Grow facial hair? Oh, oh, chew with your mouth closed. Wear undergarments. Learn to read? Uh, parallel park? Overcome your fear of dairy? Uh, bait a hook? Get that rash looked at. Find a renewable source of energy? Experience some semblance of luck with women? Bingo. What, did you accidentally see your mother in the shower again? No. Jesus, no. No, I actually have a girlfriend. She's stopping by the set later today, so uh, I'm going to go buy some flowers for her. I'll see you guys later. But you're at work. We need to film. The s'more sketch isn't going to write itself. See ya. This is intense. Well, I'm happy for him. I mean, he gets screwed in every other episode. Let him have his two minutes of happiness. But don't you see what's happening? Haven't you thought about the karmic imbalance of all of this? No, Jordan. I had not yet considered that. You know, mock me if you want. But there's a serious disruption in the chi around here. Justin's usually the one with bad luck. The rest of us were successful. To varying degrees. Give me back my bread, damn it! I don't want this toast! Where does the bread go anyways? Don't you see? Justin's bad luck will be transferred onto someone else. It could even be someone here. Maybe even you, Ryan. I don't know if I buy your new age garbage. Give me the script. What? Don't be an idiot. The script for the show. Oh, here. Okay, I say give me the script. Jordan gives it to me and I start reading the script. Okay, here we are. Ooh. Ooh. Well, that's not good. That's not good at all. I guess you're right. Well, well, maybe if we end the sketch now, we can change the script. Actually, us ending the sketch is in the script. The script had already foreseen the event that you would try to change it. I'm going to say the most random thing possible. Uh, George Washington molests little boys. Uh, was that in the script? Yes, all this is, even me talking to you now. How is that possible? Yes, you say, how is that possible? And I say, because it's in the script, while reading from the script. Look, I'd love to argue with you all day about this, but I really have to go to the bathroom. So this is the end of the sketch? Yep. Fade to black. Crap. And sometimes, you can still hear the screams. Ah! 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 Ah!
Jordan? Good story, Nick. But I've got an even better one. It seems that in the late 60s, there was a rock band called Iron Butterfly. I've heard of them. Of course you have. They've had many popular rock songs, like uh, Inagata De Vida. And, well, it's not important what hits they had. Where, where's that music coming from? Well, never mind that. Now, as the band became more successful, they had many of the indulgences that fame and fortune can provide. Money, women, time machines. Yeah, I know how that is. Time machines! Yes, it seems that Philip Taylor Kramer, the bass player for the rock outfit, became obsessed with the idea that he could travel into the past. Well, did he? That's the thing. Nobody knows for sure. One morning, he was just gone. Gone? Some say he's dead. Some say he joined a religious cult. But do you want to know what really happened? What? He's trapped in a time travel paradox. He's stuck thousands of years before he was even born. Waiting. What's he waiting for? To feed. What does he eat? Souls. And coleslaw. Ew, coleslaw! Ah! Some say he's waiting for a fabric in time to open, thereby allowing access into our world. What, 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 wait a minute. I thought he was in this world, just back in time. The shut up, Ray. That's not important. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Did you hear something? <gasps> Smells like children. Ah! Phil Taylor Kramer! None of the land. Are you ready to rock? Are you a ghost? Never mind that. Now I'm going to kill you with this badass solo. So you see, in my journey, I took the magical powers from the druids. Ryan? You guys, cut, cut, cut. Ryan's dead. What? Perhaps I can revive him. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus, knock it off, Justin. What's wrong with Ryan? He just fell over. Medic! Okay, guys, Ryan's going back from the hospital today, so we all have to be extra nice to him. He's in a weakened condition. Oh, man, how long do we have to be nice to him for? Just until he dies. <sighs> Lousy human lifespan. Ladies, gentlemen, thanks for coming. I have... Some things I'd like to say. Please, take a seat. As I look back upon these years... <laughs> wow, Jordan sure is gassy. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Guys, I'm trying to die with some dignity here. All right, all right, all right. Just make it quick. The uh, fighting robot show is on in like 20 minutes. Yeah, I hear the story where he's spinning his metal. <laughs> you bet your ass. So, what are we doing here? I had a speech. Jesus, you're so self-centered. I'm dying. I have a disease so rare, they named it after me. What, the uh, tubby disease? <laughs> <laughs> More like the fat disease. <laughs> See, Joel, I just said something very similar to that. But, but I thought... No, I'm sorry. So they really called it Ryan Grimm's disease? Oh, yeah. First, it attacks your central nervous system. Ooh, you need that to live. That's for damn sure. This leads to spastic arm and leg movements, followed by uncontrollable bowel evacuation. It almost seems unnecessarily humiliating. And hilarious. Can't you guys give me, like, a shred of human decency for, like, two minutes? I'm not programmed for joy, only misery. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let him talk. You might uh, cry or fall down or something. Thank you. When I look back upon my years spent toiling in this TV studio, creating entertainment for the amusement of junkies and the elderly alike, it makes me sad that I have to walk into the shadow of the valley of death at this point. My father once gave me this important piece of advice. He said, And I never did see Mary Sue again, but I hear she's doing fine. I'll always remember that one fine July day at the cider mill. And today, today. as I as leave the cast of the unemployables, I consider, I consider myself, myself the luckiest fifth grade entertainer on the face of the earth. Thank you, thank you.
Oh, uh, wonderful. Can, can we get back to work now? Yeah, I've got the uh, replacement applicants waiting outside. Joel, would you interview them? Damn it! Saddled with the job of filling Ryan's position, so I guess I'm just gonna have to make do. Who are you talking to? What? You just explained what was going on, but I already knew that. I made you do it because I didn't want to. So who the hell were you talking to? Uh, what am I supposed to do? Get in your office. I'll bring in the applicants. I have an office? Some may call it a garage. I say get your ass in there. Bring in the first applicant. Hey, sit down and tell me a little about yourself. Well, I'm Brent. I graduated from Yardale College with a 4.0. I minored in Judeo-Germanic studies. I was also a senior fellow with the study for culture. I did an internship with the Royal... Ah! If you like pina colada, get caught in the... Ah! If you're One of those not into yoga, if you have had a... I proceeded to... Excuse me, sir, are you listening? Yeah, it would be great if you were dead. What? Oh, yeah, I... Uh... Maybe I should just go. Yeah, that'd probably be best. <coughs> oh, hello, Bryce. All right, here at the Unemployables, we deal with high pressure situations very infrequently. However, I'd like to see how you can cope with the stress. So you tell me how you'd react to this purely hypothetical situation. Okay. It's 7 a.m. The coffee pot is empty. The staff is thirsty for coffee. What do you do? Uh, coffee pot. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you look a mixture of I like his style. Hi, I'm Sandy. What? A woman? I don't think that's going to work out. See you later, toots. Damn, this is hard. Hi, uh, we drew straws. Uh, I had to check up on you. Well, good to see you too. Man, you wouldn't believe the amount of jackasses I've had to work with today. Yeah, that's wonderful. Okay, listen. You have to give all the applicants this personality test now, okay? Okay. Will you stay here with me? No, I'm going to leave, actually. Can I touch you? Uh, yeah. Good luck, man. I'm so lonely. <sighs> well, loser. Hey! Hi. Are you guys still hiring? What the hell are you talking about? For the show! Uh, yeah, I guess. Great! I've always wanted to perform. I went to mime school for seven years and graduated magna cum laude! Wanna see my routine? No. No! No! Okay. So, what'd you think? Well, you've got the job, I think. But just as a formality, I'm gonna have to administer this personality test. No problem, boss. Just take the test. Let's see, question one. Have you ever thought about killing anybody? I'm gonna kill you! God, I'm gonna kill him! God, I should've killed him. 
No. Question 307. What's inside a mounds barn? I don't understand what this has to do with personality. Nougat, I guess. Hi, I'm done. Who the hell are you? Stefan, you were going to hire me? Oh, you. Yeah, listen. I don't know how to break this to you, so I'm going to do it in the most painful way possible. We hired someone else while you were taking the personality test. But why? Because I'm a dangerous lunatic. Now, I have to get back to putting peanut butter on my genitals. And then Fonzie said, hey. <laughs> hey guys, this is Craig. He's the newest member of our team. I want you to treat him with the same respect as you would Ryan. Like a malignant tumor growing fatter and fatter until it ultimately destroys itself? I guess so. So, uh, where are you from, Quincy? My, my name's not Quincy. <laughs> Listen to his voice. I'm Craig. I think I can waltz in here and be accepted immediately. Well, I'm wrong. Dead wrong, damn it. Why would you do this to someone? Listen to me, Keith. You're trying to steal Ryan Sutter, and you can't do that. Ryan was a bright light. A bright light from heaven. A gift from little baby Jesus. And I just... Alright. <laughs> Alright. Isn't this a television show? Shouldn't we be filming something? Hey, listen, guys. He's trying to tell us what a TV show is. Tell you what, Craig. Why don't you TV show your ass out of here? What? Go! Wait. Come back. We're all just a little upset around here, that's all. I know, I, I understand how it feels when your friend is dying. What the hell are you talking about? Wait, but who's dying? Brian, retard! Well, thanks for telling me! Don't they have medication for people like you? Of course they do. Guys, I want you all to meet Brenda. You brought a girl to our set? Is she vaccinated? She's not a raccoon. Of course she's not! <laughs> <laughs> Brent is teaching me how to play Dungeons and Dragons. He'll be a sorcerer by the end of the month, God willing. That's fortunate. So, where'd you two meet? Well, we both grabbed the same copy of Tron at Best Buy, <laughs> and we got to talking, and we found out that we like a lot of the same things, <laughs> like Tron. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we have to go to the Renaissance yeah. Festival now. Didn't you just come from there? Yeah, but now we have realistic period costumes. We have to put them on right now. And, uh, maybe fool around a little bit. I wish I were dead. Justin, isn't he the cutest thing? <laughs> yes, indeed I am. S so, they're nice together. She's uh, a dork! Oh, thank God someone else noticed. What are we gonna do? I don't know. But if he hangs around with the dork, and we hang around with him, does that mean that people will think- Don't you say that! That we're also dorks! Now listen here, and listen good. We are not dorks. We are the coolest guys in the school. Hands down. Yeah, we are! Now let's go film our cable access television show. Yeah! Uh. Hey! You guys want to call some girls? <laughs> of course not. We have audio visual equipment. Don't you guys think you're pretty cruel? Listen, Ken, if you don't like the way we do things around here, then you can go choke to death on your own vomit. That's awfully harsh. Do you have any idea how inappropriate that is? <sighs> Are you still here? Look, I just don't believe that a dog can play baseball, that's all. But this isn't any dog, this is Sparky, the baseball playing dog. Oh, well I'm sold. Oh my god, this is our worst sketch yet. I don't know, I mean, it's kind of funny, a dog playing baseball. <laughs> Craig, your laugh makes me unhappy to be alive. That's incredibly hurtful. You'll live. Okay, boys, I've seen just about enough. I don't know, I thought it was going great. 
No, no, no. It was a festering wound on the anus of sketch comedy. Let's go to the writing room. You mean the underground bunker? Precisely. Uh, Clint? My name is Craig. Yeah, uh, we're gonna take a break. Just, uh, watch our coats and uh, anything else, guys? Yeah, and to uh, clean the toilets. Wash my car. Hey, 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 hey. Stupid guys. Why are they so mean? I give them nothing but kindness. M maybe if I were meaner. No, that's just sinking down to their level. Oh, I can't wait to go home and write this in my journal. I've been talking out loud for a really long time now. I hope no one's around. Hi! Big baby Jesus, you scared me! Are you at the show? Uh, yes, we've actually met before. My name's Craig. I'm Brenda. I make Justin happy. We're in love. Okay, he's not here right now. Do you want me to give him a message or something? Well, no. I'll just sit around thinking about how to finally be missed. Are you stuck at the Board of Judgment? Yes! How did you know? I had some trouble there, too. I I'm president of the Internet Mist Alliance. <sighs> Wait a minute. Are you Game Nerd 899 Yes, are you Captain Kirk 42? Yes! We've been emailing for years! I never thought we'd actually meet in person. You're a lot more handsome than I thought you'd be. I assumed you were a pedophile pretending to be a woman. <laughs> this is so refreshing. Since Justin's not going to be back for a while, why don't we go get some pie? <laughs> you mean 3.14159? Oh, food, silly! <laughs> <laughs> I remember the first time we... What the hell is going on here? Oh, pretty slick, Craig. I leave for five minutes and you're oozing your nerd juice all over my girlfriend. Nerd juice? You hurt Justin, you hurt me. That's because we're close friends. We're not gay. Really? Sure. Look, just because I like Russell Crowe doesn't mean... Hey, 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 look. We're getting away from the issue at hand here. Craig, step away from my girlfriend. Look, Justin, we need to talk. What's wrong, baby? The Jamie is going to make it all better. You don't really call yourself that, do you? I met somebody else. Who is it? I kill him! Craig and I have so much more in common than you and I ever did. We do? Shut up, Craig. But, but, but the Star Wars convention. I went for you. You don't think I actually like that crap, do you? And you have Star Wars pajamas. With feet. I told you, they're my sisters. That's even worse. No, it's not. Wait, is it really over? I'm afraid so. Come on, Craig, let's go bump uglies. <laughs> Today is a bad day for my ears. See you guys. It's been fun. <laughs> Let's kick his ass! That is ranch. <laughs> ah. Guys, 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 come quick. I have wondrous news. <gasps> look, look, look. You can get five buffalo wings for $9.95. That's not really that cheap. And those aren't buffalo wings. Those are marshmallows. Oh. Hey, guys, I'm back. It's about time. Get in the costume. We have costumes? <sighs> Shut up, Ryan! Yeah, I'm back. Well, it turns out the only reason why I was so sick was because Justin was so happy. Now that he's miserable again, I'm as healthy as a horse. Oh, hey, guys. I woke up with this rash. It's everywhere, even on the inside, I think. See? It all makes sense now. Justin's happiness was so unnatural that it disrupted the very fabric of time and space and blocked the karmic flow. The Supreme Lord and Creator, or as I like to call him, Mayor McCheese, must have realized his mistake and given Justin a string of bad luck to compensate. Hence the rash. Oh, and the glaucoma. Well, 
looks like everything worked itself out nicely. But what about Philip Taylor Kramer? He was a character played by Justin. Or was he? Yep. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. But what about Ryan? I'm fine. Oh, so there's no conflict then. Does that mean the show's over? I guess so. Group hug! Aww. Aww. Hey guys, remember my rash? Yeah. Well, it's our rash now. Oh! You might just make it after all. Wow, average show, guys. I agree. It was truly mediocre. I give it a C at best. Agreed. Yep, everything seemed to work out. Plus, we got our Ryan back. <laughs> Here's a tree, Ryan. Oh. Woof, woof. <laughs> oh, and uh, I have a message for Craig. Craig, I know you're out there. I'm going to hunt you down like a dog, and I'm going to find you. And when I do, I'm going to kill you in the most inhumane way possible. <laughs> That's our Justin. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm very serious. <laughs> This letter I read 